Hey guys, how you doing? It's Pablo here. Now in today's video, we're going to be unboxing the... What's it called? The Jurassic World Primal Attack Cam Cretaceous Triceratops. Now, this thing I caught at Sainsbury's, um, I just saw out of the corner of my eye. It was the uh, only one there was. There was. It was that or Tyranitron, but I preferred this. So, luckily enough, this guy was there. I was actually hoping I'd see another Primal Attack because those are pretty cool. So, we're gonna jump straight into this. So, for now, in unboxing videos, you're going to be seeing um, Mattel figures because I'm actually a very big fan of the Jurassic franchise. Um, actually, I was a fan of Jurassic Park before I was even a fan of the MonsterVerse, uh, like Godzilla and Kong stuff. So, yeah. Alright, so aside from all that, we're going to get into this, and for this box, I don't know if I'm going to need the big scissors, like l the last two times. So we're going to just start with um, the little ones. Alright, here we go, we've got these miniature ones, yep, alright, no problem there. Alright, I like the packaging as well, it looks pretty cool, the Camp Cretaceous one, you can see like the trees back there, like oak trees or something, those are colossal, are, are those even like realistic, I have, I have no idea really. Alright, so here's the thing for the sound effects, this one's pretty different to the Carnotaurus I have so far, I mean already, and here's the um, Jurassic World Fax App Scan Code, alright, so yeah, let's get this out of here, alright, let's put this behind. Alright, so when I move the tail, it should. Yes, nice, nice, nice. Alright, I got it into focus. So whenever I make like downloads. Oh, I like that. That's good, that's good. I like these sounds. So far, so good. Uh, Alright, so the feet are independently posable which I really love that would do very well for stop motion that's good I like that, that I love that one that one's good all right so it's either up or down if you or tilting hold on let me try something else okay so sideways you can't really do anything nice Okay, so yeah, I've heard um, most of them now, that's good enough for now. Alright, so let's have a look at the um, paint job now. Alright, so uh, before we get into this figure, hold on, let me just... Uh, oh, it's actually pretty heavy for its size. I mean, Triceratops was heavier than other creatures, bigger than it, like the T-Rex. So let's have a look at the back of the box. So here we have... Alright, let me this this is away. Yeet! Alright, here we have like a, a bit of an example as to what to do. Alright, let me get them to focus. Alright, sorry, that's as good as we're gonna get it. So yeah, there is in four different languages. I think that's Spanish, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Even though I'm Colombian. Uh, Spanish is not my first language, so I'm not that experienced with it. I can speak it um, decently, but I can't read it as well. Okay, this is the other one that I was talking about earlier, the Tyranodon. Over here you've got like this little um, card or something, and then you've got Darius and the kids and Toro, which I've actually got the figure for. I, I've got this guy a while ago when, uh, when my channel started, but I didn't do unboxing videos back then. Um, so yeah, I might bring him up later to show a size comparison to see if it's any good. Alright, so hold on, let me first see if I can um, get the card. Let me have a look. Back to the main reason you clicked on this video. Let's go into articulation. So, this I like that the um, legs can move independently and they're like um, posable. That's very good. That's very good. I, that's uh, so articulation wise. There's like two types that I like so to have. So, there's like the ones that you can play with, like mess around with here. So, they have like an action feature. So, like the tail and then it controls the head just by moving the tail and then there's like the ones in which I think I like even more I don't know I haven't decided yet but then there's like the ones that are posable so like you can just move this like by itself and it will just like stay there so that's why I'm going to get the 
extreme damage Tyrannosaurus Rex from Camp Cretaceous as well because uh, that's the only poseable T-Rex I'm finding so far that also has poseable jaws apart from the Super Colossal which I actually already have. So now I have uh, three metal figures. Alright, so let's um, paint job. Yes, I like this. The blue is okay. It doesn't, it doesn't look... Um, uh, weird the fact that blue is clashing with the brown the brown I like I mean I like these um, generic oh wait oh it has ball joints look like they like can um, move like this hold on Do you see that yep look the arms can do I mean legs why did I say arms wait can the front legs do that yes they can hold on let me bring that into shots they can do it uh, not as good as the uh, back legs so articulation that's another plus for it pain job back to where i was uh so there's they did the um this part of the um like spikes they did that pretty good i mean these are spikes and i was looking at those that's why i said it and the horns uh looking good as well i like that they're like rubber so you they don't obviously they're doing that so they won't hurt a kid you know and i like uh there's not um, really any splash on them so that's good no sloppy painting here the blue doesn't um, look like bad I mean it doesn't I don't know if it looks natural enough like the brown looks totally natural I think I would have preferred that it would be just fully brown but it's okay it doesn't bother me that's fine I like the blue it's okay all right so I'm going to bring a few others in here size comparison now here is with the Camp Cretaceous uh, Carnotaurus Toro so this one is also like primal attack all right uh, yeah this one's pretty cool I'd say this one um, is my favorite Mattel one so far and I've got the super colossal which I can't even bring onto the table because it's colossal so I think the size difference is um, a bit too much I think the Triceratops should be much bigger and this is just the carnotaurus the t even if this were like a t-rex and it were about the size of the carnotaurus i think that's still too big maybe i don't know i think it'll be kind of okay this triceratops needs to be like i'm gonna do it so how you guys sh should be able to see it so i'd say triceratops should be like about this big this is the only size that they have for the triceratops they had it in the roar of wars the same like mold and everything but yeah, i think it definitely needs to be bigger i could if they make ones in the future i could just um classify this one in my collection as like a juvenile or something you know like an adolescent hopefully they do make uh, different ones in the future here it is in scale with the Godzilla vs Kong Playmate Skull Crawler. And here it is in scale with the Neca Godzilla from 1994. So down to the question whether to buy or not to buy. Now in size it's okay. I think if you are a fan of like Triceratops this is a pretty a solid buy. If you want it for like a collection and you like looking for ones that are in scale it's probably not the best one. I mean, it's a bit small for a Triceratops, so we just have to wait until Mattel releases bigger sized Triceratopses or other Ceratopsians. From the ones that we've got so far, it's a pretty good, definitely one of the better ones. So, thank you guys for watching this video, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.